Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are revisiting Magical Musketeers because we got a new Musketeer Max. Now, uh, it's pretty basic. I'm still using Balance. We're using more Kid Brave over Casper because I want to get to the text instead of just the basic uh, musket cards. We're using three Desperado, it's the Instance of Destruction. Cross Domination lowers the attack, negates the effect. This protects you from destruction easy to use we have all our techs well not all the techs most our techs four of them are easy to use but we are using balance so you can't use them first turn you're not really missing much with balance i'm gonna try other skills outside of balance because they are just as good really you would just add a few more monsters but you don't miss a lot with balance because of how musketeer max works he only takes one monster so uh once you link some of them you can use this effect you get to add a musketeer spell or trap with a different name for um from your deck to your hand up to the number of monsters your opponent controls or add a or yeah that was spell or trap or special summon monsters with different names up to the spell or trap your opponents controls so as you can see this monster relies on your opponent having something, either a monster or a spell or trap. So if you're going first turn, you wouldn't want to summon this guy anyway, and you're not missing out anything on balance. Really all balance stops is if you start with Starfire, and you had something like Revealing Light, or Deal, or you were really desperate and wanted to use Concentrating Current, then, you know, obviously. But other than that, it's you're not missing too much, in theory, with balance. It was my experience though. Balance would not give me two monsters. I I do not understand it. We'll have to see, double check in the replays. But I was not getting two monsters. So uh, we'll try something different in the live duels. That's the beauty of these live duels. But yeah, this is definitely a power boost for Magical Musketeers. It's not like a lateral move or anything. Your deck is really better with this in there. So hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are going second against Triple Ds. That is the one thing about uh, about balance. You don't want to go second. You want to go first. So uh, we were on a four win streak, though. So this deck was clapping. Just not content-wise. Just quick scoops. I don't know if they're bricking or they don't want to fight Magical Musketeers. Which, I mean, same, but... Still, all they do is target, so it's like if you're gonna be able to get targeted, you're gonna have a tough time. If you're untargetable, they're gonna have a really tough time. So, you know, that's how it goes. Shouldn't have brought out Sky Prison, should have kept his negate. Sky Prison's easy clap. We just destroy him. So, uh, here's Starfire. We put that over there. It's not live. Uh, we wait to get the Starfire, apparently. He's going to try to gate. We're going to Desperado the gate. That's a bold move. But we're gonna save the cross domination for the monster. We stop the search, and that's pretty devastating as we bring out a Kid Brave. He's gonna swing at us. Wow, I'm gonna concentrating current over his monster. How ballin' is that, guys? We didn't even... <laughs> we're gonna protect our Kid Brave. Look at that. Just flexing on him for no reason. We're gonna Link Summon the Max. Probably search a spell. Yep, we search another Desperado. That's gonna give us another Starfire special summon. So we're we're really popping off. And this was all with balance, so we're using it on the turns we want. We're going into a second max, okay? That's over lethal damage. He was in defense position. Didn't have the resources to go into Phoenix, or so we would have clapped that back row, but with triple D's it's usually pretty safe. That it's not much, so uh great great stuff, guys. All right, here we are going second versus Bronk. 22 cards. I'm, I honestly have no idea what this guy is. There we go, two two monsters. I was complaining about not having two monsters. I have a replay of two monsters. Excellent. He's Ancient Warriors. So, uh, yeah, um, they're they're a really good deck. I'm trying to remember how I win this because this hand doesn't look like it. Going, I think this is where he... Well, no, he's, he's going Link. I don't, I don't know. I think we just crush his fields, and uh, he's, he's going to give a quick scoop here is what I'm feeling. We do have a Desperado, though, so that's going to be an easy pop of his monster. Now, he's going to Treacherous our monster. That's fine. We weren't going to gain this effect anyway with balance, 
so it's not a huge deal. This is going to do nothing, I guess. If your monster battles, he's gonna Gyoku our back row. But we have another Kid Brave. We're going to use our Fiendish over here. We don't use it on the Kid Brave because it wasn't gonna do anything anyway. We're going into our Link monsters and then he scooped hit three back row. That means our Link monster was gonna summon three monsters and just start clapping. The problem with this deck, and I'm almost certain it's going to follow us into the live duels, is I'm in legend rank now and I usually try to stay out of legend rank. I could clap my way to king game, so no problem. We try to stay low because everyone in legend rank is a tryhard and they scoop really quick when the deck isn't or the duel isn't going their way at all. So if I'm pumping in any way and really getting a good replay to show you guys, people are usually scooping. So we'll see how it goes. It's been a while since I got to Legends. Kind of the downside of uh, doing all these consistent live duels. I'm winning too much and making up too much. So it makes the content creation a little harder. But we just got to deal with these quick scoops. So great, great stuff. All right, here we are facing a Yuya. We're going second on a four win streak for this. Show in balance. Starting with Caspar. He's doing this goofy Paragon, giving it an equip. It's actually a pretty devastating combo with Smile World, because Smile World makes it so that monster won't be destroyed. Here we're going Kid Brave, okay. Fiendish. Now, keep in mind we have balance, so we don't get Kid Brave's effect. Normal summoning did not destroy this. Let me explain this. So, this monster, neither player can special summon monsters. When another monster is normal summon to either player's side, this card is destroyed. You saw me normal summon, that card was not destroyed. We had to destroy it with the Desperado. Why was it not destroyed? Because of Smile World. Add one Smile World to your hand. If you activate this skill, you can only activate or use the effect of Smile World Spell or Trap until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, he couldn't use this thing's effect to destroy itself. We've seen this before with skills. He's using the skill to avoid a negative effect. So, uh, he could use, like, spirit monsters and they would pop there. All those kind of stuff. So we had to- and he's doing it again. He's doing the exact same play. The exact same play. So, uh, we're gonna have to pop it the exact same way. Or no, what do we have? We have Constraint Current. Doesn't do much with him. Makes Casper huge though. But we're Kid Brave doubling up and uh, he's gonna scoop for us. We, we did get the effect negate, so he wasn't gonna go anywhere, guys. Anyway, had a couple replays corrupted. I don't know why I couldn't play them. The last two, I, get, I, I have no idea why uh, they weren't working. But we'll just have to go with this. It's not my favorite archetype. I don't really like what these boys do. Um, they rely a lot on targeting. So anything you can't target, they're gonna have a hard time. That's why we had the contrading currents. That way we have some sort of way to get over them without targeting, because even our Link monsters target super tough. We would have to get all the way up to Liger to get something beyond, like, a target. So, uh, I'm gonna try not balance in the live tools, so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Magical Musketeers, like I said, this is not a lateral move. This is uh, straight up in power. So if you are a Magic Musketeer, guys, get Max and he will make your deck better, no doubt. So hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.